All right, we come to you kind of bittersweet today. Uh, this is Rant and Robin. And Digipox Cat. And uh, today we're doing one of our last runs on a beloved store from our childhood, Toys R Us, uh, which was has sadly announced liquidation over the last few uh, months. It has been kind of in the works. They said they were going to leave open about a couple, what, 100 or 60 stores open or something like that. I think it was... 200 stores that they wanted to try to keep open. And then it got announced that they're just doing all of them. So as you can see, we're here today. It's a 30% off everything sale because they're just starting the liquidation. Um, apparently, uh, during the court proceedings, KB Toys tried to buy them back and tried to save the company, but at that point it was too late, or Toys R Us said no, or the court said no. Uh, we're not exactly sure what happened there, uh, but we're going to go in and take a look and just kind of show you guys through the store one last time. Uh, just to kind of say goodbye. All right. As you can see, the store looks pretty full still uh, at this point in time. Uh, it appears that the liquidation hasn't fully started. At this point, it's just at the 30% off uh, part of the store. You know, they're going, apparently going under everywhere. Some have already gone fully under. Um, but uh, the nice thing is the store is mostly arranged as it had been, has been since we were uh, kids. So here's one of our favorite sections, needless to say, the uh, Funkos. We've got a couple that we're actually looking for specifically here. And also appears we're not the only people taking a mm -hmm. video today either. Are we interested in the Power Rangers two pack of Gordon and Peter Uh I'm not sure. What are these? Who are Zordon? It's a blue guy, the blue face guy, who gives the Power Rangers their powers, and Raider Repulsa, the bad guy. Oh. Movie. Okay, yeah, I'm interested in this one if we can make sure it's in good condition. Um, a little beat up in the corner, but okay. It's not bad condition. But yeah, we're looking for. Uh, I'm looking for uh, the stickers. Yep. All right, here's another sticker. We've got Ultron and Sigma. I don't think we're super interested in that yeah. one. Or Blackfire right there. Yeah. We've got certain ones we're kind of going for at this point. One big one we're looking for is James Bond, so I'm going to come back to you guys after we uh, take a quick look around. Alright, we're on the next dial over now, just kind of looking. This is the uh, boys action figure aisle. Again, they've still got a pretty good... Uh, assortment of stuff going on over here for the most part. Maybe when these are down to a whole bunch off, maybe I can convince, oh hi, somebody to let me buy one. We'll see. We'll definitely probably try to come back when they're lower. Further along. Yep. I have a feeling James Bond just needs to be gotten online before the price goes up too much. If it's one we want. But yeah, I looked through a little bit more. I didn't see him. Yeah, so did I. I like the white one. It's not a bad one. And it does count as a good one. Oh, yeah. It's just we wanted the black one with it, the suit, too. This aisle is a little bit more picked over. Oh no, this golden girl. Yep. But that does mean that we could at least have a chance of finding some of these on other aisles. Yep. We have the Rough Candy Grey Raven exclusive. Are you wanting that one too? Um, I was kind of neutral on grey color wise, but... You know, at this point, maybe. It's up to you, and we've got the Teen Titans Go Cyborg, too. Yep. 
I'm not seeing the uh, blind bags. They must be down on a further aisle, right? Yeah. Well, this looks like it hasn't been organized. Yeah. You got, some, you got like the mesh ones here. True, true. I think we're looking more for the Disney ones. Which may be in the girls' section. That's true. So we did manage to pick up these two. You want to go get my mom after the Got Power Ranger stuff here. What? Okay, what? my battery's starting to go down, so yeah. I'm gonna stop maybe till we get to our other big section that we Alright, so this is really the start of what the whole store is gonna look like. It's a little sad to see our first empty aisle uh, with everything. You can see the display still here for everything, but the uh, stuff is going on. The Lego aisle appears to have been pretty well sold out at this point. It doesn't surprise me that Legos were among the first things to go at our local store. Yep. So, we did pick up a small pet in my pocket pack and a Gwynpool. It's a Toys R Us exclusive. So, picked up a couple things. So we are going to make one quick run to Ontario to check out that one one time before it goes and uh, now as if to... by magic we are now in Ontario so we're gonna go take a look at this Toys R Us and see what we can find see if it's a little bit less picked over uh, it is interesting to note that this has more of the retro design still of the old Toys R Us's that we grew up with all right let's head in all right we're inside so let's take a look around and see what we can find now this is more set up to prevent robbery I believe which is a lot of why they uh, did this uh, setup where the aisles aren't straight cut through. So, uh, I think we're gonna make uh, priority of the pops real quick. So here we've got a bit larger marble section. So I'll come back to you since my camera's getting pretty low. Come back to you when we get to the actual pop section. Oh, excuse me. All right, so we did a quick Toys R Us run. Here's this, just what we got in Ontario, not much stuff. Um, but all right, so we're gonna miss Toys R Us a lot, but it's okay, because we know uh, apparently KB Toys is coming back, so that'll be exciting to see what kind of Funkos maybe we get there someday. All right, well, that's it, and this is Rant and Robin. And Cat. Catch you later.